In WWE, we all know that not everybody can be a main eventer. There will always be some jobbers, some mid-card wrestlers and a few main eventers. But do you know there are some mid-card wrestlers that have achieved way more than you think. Some have even achieved way more than main eventers. So let's have a look at that. Carly Cho is the biggest mid-card wrestler I think who wasn't able to become a main eventer. But Carly Cho has achieved something that many people would only dream to do. So when Carly Cho debuted on SmackDown, which was his first SmackDown, he had a match against John Cena for the US Championship, where he defeated John Cena and became the new US Champion on his first night on SmackDown. Not only this, when Carlito was drafted on Raw, on his first night on Raw, he defeated Shelton Benjamin and became the new Intercontinental Champion. Carlito is the only person in WWE history to win Intercontinental Championship and United States Championship on his first night of Raw and SmackDown. Nobody has done it and nobody will ever do it. Santino Marilla's most of the career was always as a mid-card guy. The guy got some chances for the world championship but couldn't win it. But do you know Santino Marilla has also done something which many people would not even think. So let's get to it one by one. In Royal Rumble 2011, when it was a 40-minute Royal Rumble match, Santino Marilla was the runner-up. He was the last person to be eliminated in the match. He was so close to winning the match, but he couldn't win. The same type of thing happened at Elimination Chamber 2012, when Santino Marilla was the last person to be eliminated from that chamber. He was also so close to win in this match, but couldn't win. And not only this, Santino Marilla was also somebody who won Intercontinental Championship on his day of debut. This is also something astonishing. The Rock is one of the biggest WWE superstars of all time and only a handful of people have defeated him in a singles competition. But did you know there was one mid-card wrestler or I can say him there was a joker wrestler named The Hurricane and this guy has also defeated The Rock. So this is a story of an episode of Raw. The Hurricane went one on one against The Rock in a no DQ match. The Rock was going for a people's elbow to end the match but then comes Stone Cold Steve Austin to distract The Rock. The Rock was distracted and the Hurricane did a roll up from behind and won that match. The Hurricane looked so happy. Now I know he didn't defeat The Rock by his own powers but a win is win, no matter how it came and defeating The Rock not many people can say that. Maven Huffman is nowadays doing YouTube and he's doing a really good job but before his YouTube days, Maven is known for his WWE days. He was majority of time a mid-cut guy in WWE. And we will not talk about his championship wins or something because he has done something bigger than that. Most people will never get the chance to do. So in Royal Rumble 2002, Maven did some unthinkable when he eliminated The Undertaker. The Undertaker was not paying attention to anyone. And then Maven came and gave a drop kick to eliminate Undertaker. Undertaker was so shocked. He was like, what happened? And this is something very few people have achieved. Yes, Maven got a really brutal beating by the hands of Undertaker, but it was worth it for Maven. So that was all the mid-card wrestlers who have achieved more than you think. I hope you have liked this video. Till then, see you soon.